Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower. Hopefully this is going to be our last video of this game, because according to the guide, there's literally feck all left. But, just because there ain't many bullet points left, doesn't mean we don't have a lot of shit to go through. Anyway, let's go talk to Bowman again. And this time, we are not going to take him up on his gracious offer. I don't know what's going on. I'm totally clueless. You're still poking around, Mr. Bowman? He certainly is. I learned one thing. Maxwell was a chemistry genius. Uh-huh. And now he's missing. Maxwell. That name. Maxwell. Yeah, the big guy. Jet out of here. You want to come with me? No. Yeah, the guy chasing everyone around with a big machete wearing the stupid mask is um, Maxwell. Alyssa. Oh, okay. Well, take care of yourself. <laughs> you too, Mr. Bowman. Like, literally no shit's given. Um, okay. So. Hmm. An incinerator? But what for? For body parts. Quite common in a hospital. Right. So. Now, let's move on to the graveyard. Ooh. Is this where we need the graveyard key? Ah, okay. Makes sense. Gee, I bet the graveyard's going to be fun. I wonder if there's actually going to be like lots of zombies out here. Ah, oh, I hope not. Ooh. What's this? A bit of atmosphere. Oh, Philip. hello. Alyssa. The curse. Alan Hale. Fooled me. Completely. Daddy fooled you. He fooled. Even me. Yeah. Uncle Philip, what did my father do? Alyssa, the golden statue, it, he, it wasn't the curse. It was all his plan. Watch out for, he, for you too. What? So the golden statue had oh, Philip. No. nothing to do with it? Even though definitely did something when we burnt key. it. Oh, I got to find my father. Large door key. Alright, well be seeing you later, Uncle Philip. Uh, okay. Well, that was rather strange. To mysteriously... Ah, uh, well, it looks like our friend over here is fucked off already. His ass is grass. Look at all of this blood. Yes. It's kind of normal, I suppose, to find blood like that. In one of these places. Uh... Okay, so now we're going to lab seven. Exciting stuff, guys. Right, uh, I'm guessing we need the large door key for the, uh, <clears throat> you know, large door. That'll be my guess. Okay, that sounded like some kind of digital lock thing. Ooh. Guessing we need the green card for that one. Now, what's it actually saying here? Okay. So, we've used the green card. So, this should be lab seven. Ah. That 
That's interesting. So that's the statue again. Everything seems normal. Right, so let's stick that down for now then. And we need to become our alternate personality. Well, there's nothing. I don't know how we become our uh, our alternate personality. Statue, but why is it here? I thought I burned it. Yes. Well, I guess the statue we burnt wasn't the right one. Um. So yeah, it literally says, unlock the door to corridor one. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my dude, this is perfect. Right on cue, motherfucker. Come on, buddy. Time for some of that pant shredding terror. Come on, Maxwell. Give me your best shot, bud. Down you go. Like a sack of fucking spuds. Right. And this is perfect, because now we have some shotgun therapy. Come on, my friend. Two shots should see him down. One. Yes, that was a bit of luck, actually, that we had those two shells. Okay, cool. Right, let's get out of here. It seemed like he just randomly came up to us, I suppose. Then we hadn't seen him for a little while. Ooh. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, right, well, let's go have a little chat with this fellow. Hey you, what are you doing? It's how sly to go on about the Maxwell curse and all. So, so you figured it all out, but not surprising. Even if you do know, it doesn't matter anymore. Because it's all over now. It's over? What do you mean? I'm not so sure. Who should go down first? You do want to see the conclusion, don't you? Okay. So now we have to go get our amulet back. Right, let's grab this sucker back. So that's upstairs. Yeah, we want that back. So I'm guessing. So do we want to go upstairs? Nah, we want to go down here. I see. Alrighty. And we want to save it here as well. Because this is the last fork in the road, guys. The final fork in the road. Final flap of the butterfly's wings. Oh, he's fucked off now. Huh. Okay. So let's see what he's got cooking up for us down here, then. In the basement. Ah, oh, zombies! But we can't do anything against the zombies! Like, we've got no guns to defend ourselves. I mean, come on, there's no way we have to go all the way back. That would be just silly at this point. There's nothing here we can use. Apparently in lab 5, there's somewhere we can hide. I mean, it's worth a shot. Although... 
Where does upstairs lead? Because... Hmm, might actually be worth doing some experimentation here. But Okay, but we try this. Now apparently we can hide here, but it just begs the question, does that actually defeat the zombie? This is lab five, and there's nowhere here to hide. So, fuck knows. Alright, I guess we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. And by old-fashioned way, I mean the exciting way. Uh, I don't know if we can run a circle around him in here. Yeah, kind of. Can we not, like, pick up a cleaver? Can't use the chair. There's That's the thing, right? There's literally nothing to fight these guys with. And you can't get away from them. Ah, you cunt! Fuck off! Alright, let's just skip this and get out of here. Like, uh, I mean, I suppose we might as well go all the way round now. Oh, but you got to do the fucking key cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it the red key cards or the blue one? Yeah, blue one. Uh, right, up. I mean, this is... Like, you couldn't make this crap up. Alright, let's use this. No, don't search it yet. It's the red one, wasn't it? I guess it doesn't matter now, because as soon as the zombie comes through the door, you can no longer do anything. Ah. Oh. Fuck this game. Seriously. No, what are you doing? Red key card. And now the zombie's here, she's not going to do it. I'm not even going to resist. Oh. God damn it. Right, red key card. Use. Um, run. Oh, why are you turning the fucking light out? Like, uh, I, I literally have no words for how much I hate this game. Like when people, especially the younger generation, go on about bad games and they're like, oh yeah, Call of Duty's a bad game. Or Fortnite's a bad game. I mean, I don't really like Call of Duty or Fortnite, but are they objectively bad games? I mean, they function, more or less. I would say no. If you're actually talking about a game that is genuinely, truly bad and awful, then here we are. Something that literally cannot be redeemed. I would say it was this. <sighs> right. Now, let's go all the way back round. 
And I bet you something else as well. I bet you there's more zombies down there. I almost guarantee that there's more zombies down there. And we've got no... Well, I was going to say, we've got no weapons or no way to defend ourselves. But we don't really need anything. Uh, now we've got to use the bloody red card. And then the blue card. Come on. Oh, you can't use it because the freaking light's off. <sighs> it's okay. It's alright. I ain't even mad. Not even mad. Not even mad. There we go. Like, just, just stop thinking about it. It'll all be over soon. Game will be finished. We'll never have to play it again. Unless one of the videos fucks up. Oh, God. Imagine that. Imagine if one of the videos corrupts. Oh. Okay. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to go straight over here. We're going to save it again. Well, I thought this was going to be a short episode that I'll be tacking on to the end, but obviously not. <sighs> right, that's done. So what's... Let's just... Whilst we've saved it, let's see... Oh, this leads full circle. Ah, there might actually be a slightly quicker way of going up and killing zombies if we encounter them. I bet we need the green card to go through there. Yep. Okay. Like, at least... Like if you've got the card in your inventory, you should just it should just be automatically used. I actually thought I was a zombie in the corner then. I was just like, freaking. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Just keep following this round. Oh, I thought there's two doors to choose from then. I was like, but, 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 no. Okay, something. Oh. Hello. Not going to let you escape. You're going to die here. Hmm. What have I done? Shannon, stop. The joke, calling my name. Did you ever have the right to call me by my name? <laughs> you abandoned me when I was just a little girl. What? Huh? Little, little bit more, please? If you must kill someone, kill me. What good is there in getting revenge against Alyssa? Revenge? Maybe you're right, but there must be a better way. Okay, she's just taking pills. Because pills are cool. What a foolish girl. Who is that? My daughter. Huh? So, our sister? Uh, um. I guess. All right, so here we go. Last two endings of the game. Apparently. Ooh. 
What's this? Who is this? Ooh, this place is scary. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh. Detective. My investigation's over. I just found Tate's body. There's no sign that the number of zombies is decreasing, and it's time to get out of here. Are you going to try to escape? Zombies will get us and eat us if we stay here like this. Let's try to get out of here together. Yes. If we get out, we've got to get some help. Yes. And that, my friends, is ending B. Whew. A very climactic ending B. Is my father safe? It's a miracle to survive. Well, as we found... Hmm. So is there going to be, like... I just cannot see. Like, after the utter slurry and shit that has been endings... B through F, or however many there was. Like, I can't imagine A being, like, worth it. Like, if you did manage to go through everything and get everything perfectly right. <laughs> Alright, let's go get our final ending of this. Oops. Probably should have loaded the other game. Our final ending. Let's actually load. Because I, I can't even be bothered to like click through doors anymore. So let's just load that one. Oh, man. Right, here we go. Oh, we've got to go through this again, but that's not exactly the end of the world, is it? Get to see her die. Can't even, like, search her body. Like, why does she commit suicide? Like, ah. why am I even thinking about it? That's the worst thing. Right, let's go talk to our friend Corey. A detective. I'm sure he's called Corey. My investigation's yeah. over. I just found Tate's body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Nope, we're not you leaving sure? with you. Yep. Yeah. Just can't run away and leave things like this. Here we go, guys. <gasps> the climactic ending. Are we ready? Are you sitting on the edges of your seats? <clears throat> nah, me neither. Oh. Ah. Oh. Look. They just had to do it, didn't they? They had to throw one last zombie at us. They had to. They couldn't. They couldn't help themselves. They were like, "Let's fuck with us one last time. Let's do something so frustratingly stupid." Ah. Uh. Like, literally. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There was, there was something to do there. I'm sure of it. I guess not. I guess not. Oh, we're going to die here again. Actually, let's just keep going. Fuck it. Fuck the zombie. Come on, Alyssa. Work with me here. It's not that hard. You can go through doors. Surely. You've been doing a very below average job of it thus far. Okay, come on. Come on, go through the door. Okay. 
And we're still being chased. Okay, we can actually go through here. Oh, here we go. Um, still being chased. Someone's voice is heard, but the... Is that because we're being chased by a zombie? I bet that's because we're being chased by a zombie. So literally, you can't even give it the old uh, gypsy switch. Yeah. Yeah, so they really do just fuck with you that one last time. Right to the end of the game and they force you to go all the way back. For what purpose? For what purpose? I have no idea. But either way, guys, we are going to have to go all the way back. To get rid of this fucking zombie. There's literally like, there's nowhere to hide. I mean, I'm tempted to try out Lab 5 because it says there's a hiding spot there, but I reckon that hiding spot is probably only there um, if you're running from Maxwell. Oh, you just got to go so far back. For literally no reason at all. Like, no reason whatsoever. You have to go back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right, let's go this way. Let's see. This is a better way. Well, it's not going to be a better way because, like, objectively speaking. Ah, oh, shit. I couldn't tell you which way is faster, to be honest. Ah, oh, fuck off. You annoying little cunt. Like, we're going to die as soon as we get out here, because the zombie's right there. Uh. There's lit- there's nothing you can do! Uh. And she just comes back here into the wrong room. Like, what can we do in here? There's nothing that we can do to avoid this. <sighs> Come on. I guess going all the way back would have been the better idea. All the way back to the... Through the bloody elevators and everything. Right, which one was it? Was it this one? No. We're dead again. <laughs> I'm just so irritated by this game. I will happily say this is the worst game I've ever played and that's the that's not even the door we want to go through because I forget that's not the door we actually come out of is it 
When she enters the corridor, she doesn't enter through the door that she's... They just don't give you a chance. Oh my god. Come on. This way, this way, this way. Right. I don't want to say progress because it's really not. I'm just literally wasting my time and yours right now. I'll go through the fucking door. All of that just to get here. Just for one zombie. Just because of one zombie. Like we've literally just had to play through a massive chunk of the game again. For zero reason. And I've got a horrible feeling. I can just feel it that we're going to run into another zombie. Before we get out of here. We're actually on 31 minutes again. Like, we've been doing this so long. Like, why put that last zombie there? Apart from straight up comedic value, what was the point? <sighs> I can't believe anybody that was designing that was like, yeah, this would be a really good gameplay element. This would add some serious like tension to the game. One final zombie. <sighs> Man. Oh, but hopefully, hopefully we're about to witness the end of the game, guys. I'm actually going to save it now we've done all that shit. Like, all the things that could go wrong here. I don't know what could go wrong, but emulator crashing or just, just straight up anything. Wouldn't my, I wouldn't be surprised if I hear... Maxwell's bloody blade scraping along soon. Imagine that. That'd be some shit. The icing on the shit cake. Should I say the dribbling of diarrhea on the shit cake? So all of that was because we had a zombie chasing us. This guy. I was jealous of this man. So to, to make him fall. I dug I dug you up from the Maxwell's grave. Oh. What are you talking about? Father, I, I don't understand. I am not your father. You were the cursed child of the Maxwell family. The daughter with the cruel alter ego. The cursed daughter born into the Maxwell family every few generations. I see. That makes a little bit of sense now, but... Everyone must die. Very convoluted. <gasps> oh!
we die? Are we supposed to die there? Brilliant. Your wealthy family. I mean, obviously not. Must die. Can we just skip this? Sorry. How rude of me to forget. Since I was the one who made you crazy. Do we really have to watch all of this again? Father. Alyssa, Alyssa. And the emulator is starting to fuck up. Which is not good. You're the daughter of George Maxwell. Okay. Yeah, cool story, bro. Tell it again. We don't care. I dug you up from the Maxwell's grave. Unless we have to be Bates here. What are you talking about? Father, I But it doesn't mention that. You were the cursed child of the Maxwell family. The daughter with the cruel alter ego. The yeah, on with it. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a fuck. I know I don't. Everyone must die. Yeah, here we are. We're in panic mode now. Okay, panic mode didn't turn up last time. If you were my own daughter. Cool. I never thought of you as a, t a tool to harm anyone. So I... So I infected the statue with bacteria. To make him go crazy. Zombie bacteria. Father. Bye, Alyssa. Hurry and leave. This building is going to blow up. Of course. Why wouldn't it? And he mysteriously died. Oh shit! Shit! I was not expecting that. Don't you dare say we've got to go back through all of that shit again. At least I saved, stated it halfway through. Fuck! Fuck's sake. Yes, I save stated it, and I'm not even sorry. Everyone must die. Fuck off, pal. <sighs> save state. I, I, I loved you as if you were my own daughter. I should have known Maxwell's like invincible. I never thought for reasons. Of you as a tool to harm anyone. Because he's got the zombie virus, but he's not a crazed zombie like everybody else. I mean, he's still like he still has some of his brains. Father, mother. But if this is a zombie virus, hurry and leave. This building is going to blow up. Ah, that plot just stinks. Wait, father. Must die. Uh huh. You're not my father. Lie <gasps> down. Don't say such things. So is that Corey saving us? Wait, what? Look at this. I'll get him with this. Do you know what you're doing? Digging up the Maxwell grave? You think the curse is real? It's it's pure absurdity. The curse of the Maxwells is just an old wives' tale. Uh, 
How does he even know about? Like, how does everyone know? Is it common knowledge that they murder their daughters like every now and again? And everyone's just like okay with it. It's hard, isn't it? They did it to them. Everyone's so dead, they? and it's all my fault. Maybe so. It would have been better if I had died. I'm not going to die. It's not that you've died there once already, you know. Accurate. Well. I guess I've got to get rid of those zombies. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be easy. <sighs> oh, I think the ending just gave me like fucking space aids. Ah. <sighs> oh. And we can't actually skip this. Well, wasn't that some shit? Like, proper, unadulterated garbage. Like, what, is it, what even is this end theme? There's none of that, like, serene music when you finish. Um... Resident Evil, for instance. You know, the kind of chilling the nerves. No, it just pumps this fucking weak ass drum and bass shit. Which actually, I notice there's a lot of uh, drum and bass throughout this game. And the story as well, like. <sighs> so basically, he infected. A statue with zombie bacteria to drive the Maxwell crazy, Mr. Maxwell crazy, because he was jealous of his wealth and power. And then that has something to do with him burying daughters like every few generate. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't even, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not even giving the game the, uh, I'm not even dignifying the game by trying to actually think about the plot, which actually is not that complicated when you get to the end of it. <sighs> but it seems to have very little to do with the first game, or the first two games. Apart from the Maxwell curse, that sounds familiar. But we don't care about the sales team, okay? We don't actually care about the people that made the game. Usually, I'm like, you know, let the credits roll, let these people, you know, be known, but no. They should, uh, they should hang their heads in shame for this. I mean, I know, game design was totally different back then. Nobody knew what the correct model was, what worked, what didn't work. But surely you can, like, get halfway through a project and think, hmm. This is a bit shit. It's not worth our time. Cancel the project and move on. Or make fundamental changes to improve it. Like, the whole combat system with the zombies that they added. That was the biggest problem with this game. That and the dual personalities. Which added nothing that couldn't have been um, expressed in cutscenes. It was just so unnecessary. And the zombie, like, even when you, you're fighting a zombie with a gun, it's so easy to misclick and then run up to the zombie. So the zombie gets a free hit on you. And then when you're, you're fighting with baits anyway, um,. You have instances where the zombies are unlimited, so... Oh. oh man, that was the hardest Let's Play I've ever done. 
seriously. I think a few years ago I would have given up. But we did it. We've come out the other end. Technically there is two Clock Tower games left um, in the series. It's Clock Tower 3, which was made by Capcom, which is a totally different kind of game, but I've heard very mixed things. Some people say it's really good. Some people say it's really bad. So maybe we'll look into that. And there is the original Clock Tower on the Super Nintendo as well. But maybe. I mean, I never say never, but I just have really not enjoyed this at all. So I don't know whether we'll get to it. But at least I now have that one game. Where if anybody says to me, like, oh. Um, so what, what would you say is your, your least favorite game of all? I say, well, actually, my friend, there is one game that I would say is an absolute raging piece of shit. Lend me your ear. Let me tell you a tale. Right, now let's have one last look. No, we don't want data load. Ugh. Ah, we've got the guide now. What's the guide? Oh. Her real name is Lynn Maxwell. Uh, Alyssa Hale's male alter ego, the Maxwells, fearing that their twins were the cursed children born yet again, buried them alive family uh, just after they were born as was done in past generations Bates is cruel, unjust and heartless yet kind to Alyssa which might be a simple defence instinct any actual significance or reason to his existence is unknown I'm just going to like skip through this so it's here if anyone wants to read it but I don't actually care about it to be honest I mean, it's quite cool that you get this here, but I get the feeling that we probably should have had some of this. Um, before you actually get into the game, it would have cleared things up a little bit. A cool, snobberish detective, really. Doug Bowman. Hmm. <laughs> ah, Shannon. The daughter of Alan Hale. When she was eight years old, her parents divorced and she was taken into custody by her mother, who died of an illness later. Shannon was raised by relatives, sir. Uh, her hatred of her father, Alan Hale, builds, and when she sees him with Alyssa, she realises she wants to exact revenge. George Maxwell. Hmm. Yep. So, even the golden statue. Alan Hale gives this statue to Philip Tate, saying it possesses the Maxwell magic. But in reality, there's a toxin implanted in the statue which makes people go raving mad. Alan Hale thinks that Philip saw Alyssa when he dug her up from the Maxwell grave, so he plans to silence him with the infected statue. He hesitates to use Alyssa to ruin George Maxwell, so he sends a statue to George to make him go insane as well. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. George Maxwell researched and developed this toxin. When administered, it grows into a parasitic brain inside the human body. This causes the blood to turn yellow and the skin to turn green. Unless the parasitic brain is destroyed, the body will continue to live, even if it's hacked to pieces. 
So even if like the br oh, that's it. even if the brain is no longer connected to the body, that doesn't even make sense. So yeah, now we have score attack and time attack. Challenge score attack until you beat all zombies on the second floor of the lab or the game ends. Unlimited bullets cannot continue. Yeah, no, actually. Thank you. If you cannot beat a zombie by the second shot, the zombie's weak spot will be displayed. When you beat a zombie... Yeah, uh, I actually don't care. Thank you. So, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for suffering through this torture with me, but we got there in the end. So, anyway guys, as always, till next time.